Okay, so Ozzy Osbourne is quoted in a recent article over at Far Out talking about the legendary friction between Eddie Van Halen and Randy Rhodes. And in this case, Ozzy made a comment regarding Eddie's claim that he taught Randy everything that he knew. And here's the quote that comes from the article. Quote, I heard recently that Eddie Van Halen said he taught Randy all his lick. He never. To be honest, Randy didn't have a nice thing to say about Eddie. Maybe they had a falling out or whatever, but they were rivals, unquote. So what I want to talk about in this video isn't necessarily whether or not they liked each other. I think it's pretty clear that they didn't like each other. But what I want to talk about in the video is why they may have been so opposed to one another musically. Now from Eddie's point of view, it's pretty obvious. He felt that Randy was stealing his style. And as I pointed out in a video I made directly on that topic, I don't find that to be a sustainable claim. I think Randy has his own style that stands quite apart from Eddie. I don't even hear that much of an influence of Eddie Van Halen on Randy Rhodes. Of course, there is some influence there, but I don't hear it to the same extent that Eddie Van Halen claimed. I think that from Randy's perspective, the reason that he may have had some musical differences with Eddie is because Randy Rhodes was more of an overall compositional musician Whereas Eddie, despite his deep classical training, he had piano lessons and participated in classical music competitions all through his childhood and early teens. He was much more in the blues tradition, in the riff tradition, in the even pop song tradition. So as musical visionaries, they had completely opposing ideas. Randy was a classically trained, perfectionist, more of a deeply dedicated student of music, and Eddie was a genius, rebellious, explorer, inventor, and breaker of rules. So just in their basic temperaments, Randy Rhodes was the type of person to learn music from the ground up and apply it flawlessly, whereas Eddie was the type of person to learn music from the ground up on the fly and then apply it in any way that suited his mood up to and including trampling down traditional standards. And while both guitarists broke barriers, Eddie did so with much more conscious will. Now, you don't have to compare the two guitarists and decide, well, which one was better technically or which one had better musical ideas. What I'm talking about is comparing them in their self-identity as musicians. So I think that because they had such opposing temperaments, it was going to be hard for them to ever agree or even clearly admire each other the way that they should have. And I think this explains a lot of things between them, although it could have come down to some personal falling out, as Ozzy Osbourne suggests. But I actually think there's a deeper musical divide between the two personalities. This is what I think, but what really matters is what you think. So if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music, Please drop it in the section below and remember to like and subscribe. You can also click on the join button now and become a member of the channel. Members gain access to badges, members only polls, and a whole bunch of members only videos as well as other perks you'll see when you click the button. You can also support the channel by clicking on the buy me a coffee link, going to the buy me a coffee site, and leaving a donation. Every little bit helps this channel stay strong. Thanks so much.